so we got a feral hive and a elm tree. And we're testing to see how aggressive they are. We're going to let the bees slowly come out of the tree and find their way into that box, hopefully. Don't know how long that will take. I have heard everything from a few days to a few weeks. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if the homeowners are going to be down with a few weeks or not. But we'll find out. I guess it probably will depend on how big that hive is and how stubborn it is to try to move out. So I'm going to put on some gloves here so I don't get nicked up by this wire. But uh, I will make our comb. Okay, so what we can do is get a box, secure a bottom to it uh, with a you know entrance reducer, and uh, go ahead and just attach these brackets to the base and see how that works. We might need a piece of wood to attach these two to rest the box on, but I think we're going to have to kind of get out there and figure it out a bit. So, let's just lay out the equipment that we're gonna need. Hey there, we're gonna need some James with uh, Carp's Bees and we're gonna do a trap out today. So here's what we got. Look at that. Bees in a knot hole. Cone method, bees come out, can't get back in. They'll try to get in around the screen, but they won't be able to get back in. And then what we'll do is we'll mount a a box up there that they can go to and Lou are going back into their old tree hive so may take a few days may take a couple weeks we're not really sure but uh, we're gonna give it a shot so here we go so the first thing we do is put the cone on and that'll give us an idea of the position
like. The bees are moving in already. Look at that. So we'll put an inner cover on this. cover on this, a lid, and then we'll jack this up with uh, some straps. I think I brought them. Smell the pollen. This is kind of fun. I'm 12 feet up in a tree. They'll figure it out, I think. Better home over here. Hopefully the queen comes out, man. feet up in a tree. This is James with Carp's Bees and uh, I think uh, we have done our first successful trap out or at least start to a trap out. Um, let me show you what we got here. So we went ahead and covered the hole and what I'm trying to look for right now is make sure that there's no spots that those bees can get back in here. And they're clever little, little dudes. If there's any little gaps they'll get through. I'm just kind of watching to make sure. We have a cluster of bees over here, but most of them are, are heading into this new box here. When I had it open, they were um, just crawling right in. A lot of yellow pollen. So I don't have any idea how big this hive is. It could be a lot smaller than we thought. A lot of the bees may be moved in, but what we're really trying to get is the queen to come out. And the bees aren't very clever about getting in this little hole here. So they just need to be able to bring out their dead from time to time. So as long as they can do that, this should work. Again, I'm not seeing any bees find their way through a gap, but we're gonna just sit here and watch for a bit. And if there's some secret back door I don't know about, that could be a problem. Oh, and I do want to do one more thing. I'm going to put a little lemongrass on the entrance here. And hopefully that'll lure them out too. Lemongrass extract mimics queen bee pheromone. There's a big old drone. And I'm just listening to the box and it sounds loud. Maybe you can hear it. There's a drone found his way out. All right, let's get the lemongrass extract and put that in.
find a way in, I don't think. So here's all you need right here. A little lemongrass. We'll put this on the couple drops on the landing board. And that should do the trick. Once that gets in the air. Okay, so we have a successful install of our honeybee trap out. And uh, we put a full box up here. I think if I was to do this again, I would use a nuke box or a swarm trap box. This is pretty heavy than that. Pretty good. I mean, we got, this is sealed up pretty good. I used aluminum roof nails here. We can't have any leakage though. There's, if a bee can, if they can get back in, that's going to defeat the whole purpose of this trap out and we need them to come out. So when we did this, it was, you know, it's like lunchtime. So a lot of the foragers were out. I see them trying to get back in here and they can't seem to do it. They don't know enough to come here. And it seems like every guard bee is swarming around my head right now. But the foragers with all their pollen packets look a little frantic. Now I did put some lemongrass on the entrance here so hopefully they'll find their way in. I know there's bees in here already because when we had it open they were in, they went right in because they, they saw the drawn out comb. But again we're just uh, I think they'll eventually figure it out. So we'll, we'll give it a you know a couple days come back and check but I will come back and make sure this is totally secure. I actually have some straps I want to put across this as well so we'll just make sure this doesn't fall down in a storm or something I mean, it's not going anywhere but just in case all right oh there's one something's coming out I think I just need to leave them alone I could have put an inner feeder in here. That's an option too. Another thing we can do if they just won't come out is we can drill a hole into the side and then try to smoke them out that way. So fill up the cavity with smoke and hopefully they'll come out. But uh, let's just let's just give them a few days to figure things out. We'll go from there. All right, James with Carp Speed signing off. Woohoo!